In this video, we're going to be talking about a quick tech setup that will work great for online calls or online meetings because let's be honest, no one's going out. We're all going to be at home working. So let's get to it. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. On today's vid, like I said, I'm going to be helping you with your <coughs> pandemic <coughs> home office setup that will level up your meetings. And since we're on the topic of home offices, the first thing I want to show you is this Brother printer, which has been a staple in our house. This is the Brother DCP T420W, which is a great home printer and they happen to sponsor this video. This thing has a refillable ink system, which is a cost-effective solution to printing. This is also a scanner. Most importantly, it can do wireless printing, which is honestly the way to go. What's great about this is for Androids and PCs, it's literally plug and play. No need to install anything or add a driver, just print. For Apple products, you're gonna need just this app and you're good to go. This thing prints black and white and colored and to test that all out, I decided to one, take a photo of my dog and to print it out the size of a bond paper, which is <laughs> more than life size. I mean, I don't think Chu was thrilled at the idea of an even bigger than life size photo of her, but it's good. I'm gonna put all the further details down in the description box below, including where you can buy this printer. But also, I'm giving away one of these things to a lucky person. I'll put the mechanics also in the description box. Good luck. Right, on to more work from home tech. Now take note that this is a basic setup for work from home calls or conferences on Zoom. But this is also a setup that will work for streaming. This is actually the same setup I use when I do Facebook Live or even podcasting because this is how I do our podcasts. And if you want to shoot some sit down videos or music covers for YouTube, this will also work. So first off, you'll need better visuals for your Zoom calls. Now, I did a whole tips and tricks video on this topic, so you can check that up here and down below. But the camera that I personally use now would be the Logitech C922. When I first got this, I was pretty hesitant because I was like, webcams? Those from my memory back in the 90s, those suck. But lo and behold, webcams are actually good now. This is a webcam sample. This tiny thing will directly clip to your laptop. I've clipped it to my desk here, but we'll talk about that later. Plug the USB to your computer and it works just like that. So having a webcam automatically levels up your visuals and they're so easy to use. I cannot be bothered to set one up every time I go on a call or every time I shoot a podcast. So I love the fact that this webcam, it's pretty much plug and play. But if you want to level it up a bit, you can download the Logitech G Hub and it'll allow you to switch around the settings. From here, you can change the default zooming in or out, change around the focus, exposure. You can even set up video filters with specific settings so that when you need one or the other, you already have these preset settings saved. This particular webcam also has a mic, but I don't use that because I use the Razer Siren 2, which is the next thing on this list. Aside from being pretty and being such a big talk point to anyone I've ever been on calls with, this is a pretty capable mic and quality is great. It comes with a mic stand though, again, I've chosen not to use it for my setup because I like to keep my table free for, you know, me working on it. Basically, you plug this mic into your computer with that USB and yes, that's a pink cord that comes with it. There is a mute button up here and there's also an audio port for earphones for when you want to monitor your audio. Now the next thing on this list are the stuff that I use to mount my mic on and my camera on. So this mic stand that clamps to the table is pretty useful because I get to move it depending on how I want to sit or talk. Like I could be on a call and leaning in like this or I could be more relaxed and leaning back like this and I'll be able to adjust. I also love that it came with a pop filter so I never had to worry about that. Again, this thing is directly clamped to the back of my workspace so my desk is kept free. Again, I like my desk space. 
And also one big audio tip that I got from Joshua is that this position here in front of where I'm speaking directly will sound way better than if it were on the table. As you may have noticed, I've decorated this with leaves to truly bolster my crazy plant lady. <laughs> the thing is, you can actually see this in the video and I just didn't like how it looked. It's all black and industrial and it wasn't for me. I've been thinking of switching it out to a white one but I wasn't necessarily sold. I've been looking for a pink one and I cannot find one anywhere so in the meantime, I just decorated and I think it looks good. I have the same clamping thing for my webcam. Again, it is connected to the back of my desk in not the most orderly fashion, but you get what I mean. This one is smaller and less bulky because I anticipated that I wouldn't be moving this camera around too much. It has a good length and that stem is actually bendy so I can still adjust it. And there are certain adjustments on this head as well. Plus my webcam does come with a screw that allows you to mount on a tripod. Finally, the last thing in this call setup video that makes all the difference, and I kid you not, this applies in everything that you do with a video. Lighting. You see the difference? Yeah. I actually have a separate video that talks about that, the one that I mentioned earlier. But yes, good lighting is key and this comes with a table clamp as well. I can also adjust it however I want. This is a ball and socket. You plug it in using a USB and you can actually change the temperature. This is warm, cool, and a combination. I use this. Plus, you can make it brighter or dimmer. Of course, you won't really see how bright or dim that gets because my camera is set to auto-adjust, but you get the idea. Now, just a few other things to add to this whole setup. Everything on the back, you can't just use any normal desk. As you can see, mine has a drawer on one side, but the other side is completely open. I still use this space for storage, as you can see. But this also means that the back is open, which allows me to clamp stuff on here. Now, it's not the cleanest to look at from this side. I'm working on that, but it works. My desk is mostly always clear and free, and I love that. I sit here whenever I'm on podcasts or on calls and enjoy all the space I allow myself on my desk, on my beautiful free desk. Now, one other thing is that I work on a 13-inch MacBook Pro, which means I live the dongle life. But as you've learned in this video, I am waging a war against cluttered wires. So the solution is this and everything that's connected to my laptop is connected via this wire. What I have here is a U-Green connector that is connected to the Minix dongle. So as you can see, it's pretty compact. There's an HDMI port over there. There is a USB-C port, which is where the power is plugged into, and two USB ports. Now, what's so great about this tiny thing is that there's storage in it. 240 gig of storage in this dongle. Pretty cool. It just helps me make everything look clean, neat, and nice. And that, folks, is all you need for a basic work from home space. And like I said, this is my personal setup, so everything that I just showed you is what I use to create my content. And since I work here and live here, I figured I might as well add something else that might just spruce up this area. I've decided to be extra, and I'm sure some of you may have noticed this in the background. This is also something I turn on every time I'm on call. Turn the background light off. There you go. Technically, even the main light I use in this room is smart. Turn bedroom light off. Yeah, so that and the light behind my mirror over there are bulbs from Global Gears. It's really cool. All you really need to do is put them in the socket and download an app so that you could control it via an app or do as I did and connect it to voice control. 
Right, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope you sort of got something from all of this. I will link everything down in the description box as well so you know where to get the stuff I actually got. Let me know if videos like this is something you enjoy and you'd like to see more of. I'ma go now and shoot some other things but if you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online that's at isadoes underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget the giveaway you guys. Good luck. Until next time, bye!